Hey, beautiful people. I hope that everyone is having a blessed, terrific, just a blessed day. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. You know I do. Well, I'm trying the borough, a uh, low country ball over in Swansboro, North Carolina. I'm trying their uh, low country ball for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and say my grace. We're going to talk. I want to talk about a few things. I'm going to go ahead and get it in. How about that? Okay. Amen. Amen. Now, it comes in a tray like this and wrapped up in saran. y'all corn potatoes shrimp and black mussels and this uh is 20 it was cost 28 dollars i believe and i think sausage come with it too spicy uh cajun sausage or louisiana sausage so let me go ahead and do a thumbnail on this Into this. Ooh, we y'all look at that. Does that look delicious or what? Ooh, I didn't spill, I didn't see that. I'm spilling all my juice. That's okay. Pure leaf, mango, hibiscus. The sunny. Y'all didn't let me spill all of my juice. I didn't spill all of it. Why y'all let me spill my juice like that? Mm. Yes, yes. And they even put some lemon in here, y'all. I'm going to start with everything, no. <laughs> you know, I can't start with everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, I see the garlic. Well, y'all can see from the waist, well, from where I wasted it. Look at that. I'm about to tear it up. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm about to tear it up. Y'all excuse me if I'm a little sloppy today. Please excuse me if I'm a little sloppy today. I do not mean to be. I'm not using Indi uh, Indiana. Mm -mm -mm. Louisiana seafood sauce. I'm not using any of that. 
I'm just going to use. When I drove in Swansboro, it's like 17 miles away, y'all. Uh, and um, this is still hot. Still hot. Still hot. Mm -hmm. It's good, too. Let me try these shrimp. I'm just going to taste each one, y'all, of what I have in here. And then I'm going to talk to you all about something. But that's the mussels. Y'all remember Diana Ross? I want mussels. And these mussels are tender. Let me get ready for this. in the house y'all and it's dark and cold so I will be improvising well I thought it was going to be good uh oh they cheated me on a little of the meat here yeah They cheated me on that, but that's okay. Mm. You can taste the garlic, the butter, the seasonings that they have in here. I'm loving it. And I kept stressing to them, uh, it's, it's not a dry boil, is it? You know how some people just have maybe just a little butter and garlic in the bottom of the pan. Look at that potato. Look at that potato. Mmm. -hmm. Look, being greedy, why? Sausages. Mm -hmm. Let me do the next juice. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> you know, I know I, I know you all know this. Or hopefully you all know this, the um, inspirational quote that I had there in the beginning. And I just want to talk about that, the inspirational quote that I have in the beginning of the video today. Because I had it in one of my other videos.
But I'd like to break it down and tell you how I feel about it. My view on it. And I'm really surprised at these muscles because a lot of places you go, well, some places you go, their muscles are tough. These aren't. So, I'll definitely be going again, going back again. And I also like the... The little herbs they have on here. And so I'll definitely be going back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. One of my inspirational quotes. It says, if I get fat, I eat too much. If I lose weight, I'm sick. If I dress well, I'm showing off. If I dress simple, then I'm poor. And... I just want to say to you all out there <clears throat> that no matter what you do in life, that people are always going to criticize you, no matter what you do in life. So that's why you have to do what makes you happy, not what makes anyone else happy. What makes you happy. Because when it says, I, if I get fat, I eat too much. That's what people, I'm eating too much. That's what people say, you know. And I just want to tell you, give you some examples of my little journey, my little life journey. And how it relates to those things that I put on that inspirational quote. Now it says, if I get fat, I eat too much. I want to use the example of the second one, which says, if I lose weight, I'm sick, right? Unfortunately, if you see, if you know, if you have a friend, and you know that they have been, you know, um, average average size and everything. Let's say you don't see that friend for a while. You run up on them. And you say, um, and they've lost a lot of weight. You hardly, probably hardly recognize them. Most people are going to act like there's an elephant in the room. Some people are going to say, wow, what happened to you? Or, they may not say nothing to you at all. But what they're going to do is they're going to go to someone that you know and say, it's fly beautifully on that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real with you. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Most people are not going to come up and ask you in a lovingly way, a loving way to see, you know, maybe something is going on, something that's happened to you, 
or whatever. Nine times out of ten. They're going to take the ignorant route. If you see that someone that you know, <clears throat> appearance has changed or something, it'd be nice to say, you know, to be a little more tactful. Hey, how you doing? What's been going on? Oh, I see you've lost, you lost a lot of weight or something like that. And people, I've been telling you, <clears throat> if I say I've had, I have congestive heart failure, a lot of times people will say, oh, don't cry for me, Argentina. Because I'm going to tell you, God has been more than good to me. He has been more than good to me. And I'm not the only one in the world who has congestive heart failure and, I have, and, and a defib defibrillator. I'm just like each and every one of you out there. But know that because of God's grace and mercy that I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Trust me. I've been through it. But I'm good. Drip, drip, mm -hmm. garlic shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would get this in the Mmm. Look at it. And then the other one says, um, if I dress well, then I'm going to show off. <clears throat> I used to have this job, y'all, that I worked in the warehouse, but I worked in the office part. And when I first got there, this was a long time ago. And when I first got there, one of the young ladies was like, one of the ladies who thought the warehouse was hers, she said, oh, you don't have to dress, you don't have to dress up. Oh, okay, thank you. Because I wore stockings, dress, heels, and when it was cool, I wore my di I wore different kind of hats. As a matter of fact, my boss went through about three different bosses, but one of my bosses, my last boss, he used to wait at the door when I'm getting ready to come to work to see which what I what outfit or what hat I'm gonna have on that day. And you know, I said on that on that quote, if I dress well, I show off. But what people don't understand is 
And I'm sure there's somebody else out there with the same um, has gone through the same as I have. What people don't understand is I had my daughter when I was 15 years old. I took care of my daughter. Nobody, you know, took care of my, my child for me, you know. Uh, at one point, my mother was like, you can leave her here. Like if I went to the store or whatever. Everywhere I went, my daughter went. My baby. And I had the money to um, to have for my daughter. And best believe she was clean and had new clothes. Constantly. New clothes all the time. Shoes, all that. She had everything that she needed. And I still remember to this day. And in fact, I have a picture tucked away somewhere. Where, you know, back then in the 70s, you know, they had them polyester pants. <laughs> that you iron. If you iron too much, they start shining, right? Well... I have some black polyester pants. I'll never forget. That was good enough for me. And I was a jean and t-shirt girl. But the thing of it is, is that I did without for my child. And I knew that one day, I don't know, I didn't know when or how, But I just knew in my heart and in my mind that one day I would be able to um, dress because I love fashion. I love boots. That's why I like I love to dress in the uh, fall and the winter time more so than any time because I love boots and hats. <laughs> But why do I dress now? Because God has blessed me to be able to afford nice clothes. But let me tell you. I don't have to have designer this, designer that. I can shop at Rainbow and I'm good. And it's about knowing how to take care of your, um, you know, take care of your things, take care of your clothes and whatever else you may have. It's about taking care of it. Mm-mm. <laughs> Look at that. And y'all know I love garlic. <laughs> so, if I get fat, I eat too much. If I lose weight, I'm sick. If I dress well, I'm show off. If I dress simple, I'm poor. The more to this little story I'm saying, telling you is... You know, never judge a book by its cover. You never know what journey that person has been on in life. And I don't know about you, 
But I actually like different. I like being different. I like other people who are different. You know, I think that that's part of what makes us all special in our own way. Because I don't know about you, I bore easily. I bore real easy. And, and so the next time I should feel the need to perhaps judge someone or compare, Think about your blessings. Think about what God, how God has blessed you and continue to bless you. He has to continue to bless you because if you're watching me and listening to my voice, you're breathing. And you're still vertical and that's a good thing. That's an outstanding thing. That's an outstanding thing to be. It's vertical. You know, I just want to thank you all, though. Y'all know this is a lot of food. I want to thank y'all. For rocking with me. And I really hope that 20, 2021 is the year of subscribe of a thousand subscribers for me. As I said, I'm going to do a video on um, um, just some tips on starting a YouTube channel. Because I see people saying, um, you know, what if somebody don't like what I'm doing, or what if they don't like my voice, or what if they don't like my look, or how do I know when to, um, what kind of videos to do, and I am not a seasoned YouTuber, but I can just tell you some of the things that I've did, I've done. <clears throat> Since starting my YouTube channel and trial and error. Mm -hmm, that's 10 to 2. And it came out the shell. Mm -hmm. I ain't even use that, that little lemon. But this is good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, but. Heart Warriors. I always be careful of the butter and stuff too. You don't want it to clog your arteries. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's good. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. And see, everything ain't gonna, ain't gonna be perfect. You know, like I was telling you about, you know, YouTube, uh, helpful tips for YouTube. Everything is not gonna um, always be perfect. Hence me keep bumping into the <laughs> blessed sign back there. You know, you all are special to me. You're special to me. You chose me. I know you watch other people, but you chose me. Right now, at this moment, you chose me. And I feel special. Let me have my moment. <laughs> Let me have my moment. I want everybody to be safe out there. I want you to be blessed and be, you know, stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. And do whatever it is that you need to do to stay encouraged. Whether it be yoga or another type of hobby. Whatever. And like I said, do what makes you happy. You are the only one that's accountable for you. I want to thank you once again for rocking with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, 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 share until your heart is content. And I'm going to keep sharing with you. Mm -hmm. mm. Blah, beautifully, family. I enjoyed you and join me. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. But you know most of all who to be good to. Thank you again so much for rocking with me. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.